Here's a short video for you on how to calculate special assessments. Now, the key thing with special assessments is these are typically off-site improvements which affect one property or two properties in the area. Therefore, those property owners pay for them. They're not paid from the ad valorem taxes or real estate taxes that are paid for the entire community. Examples of special assessments include things like paving the streets, installing sidewalks, sewers, something like that. And they, again, only affect those properties in that local neighborhood where those changes are being made. Key thing on special assessments is typically you're going to have to divide by two because there are two sides to the street. And that's the part that most people forget. So let's take a look at a question here. It says the city has decided to add a sidewalk in one neighborhood and is assessing all local owners to pay for this improvement. As soon as you see something like this, assessing all local owners, that's going to be a special assessment question. It says if a property owner's lot is 85 by 150 feet, and the, it tells you, I'm sorry, the property is uh, 85 by 150 feet, and the cost per square or per front foot is $90. The questions are, how much will the owner save if the city is paying 30%? And the second question is, what is the owner's portion of the special assessment? Let's take a look at how we're going to calculate this. First of all, here's our little street. I'll put the little lines down the middle of the road for you. We've got a lot on one side. And it says it was 85 by 150. Anytime you see that, if you see a property measurements like this, 85 by 150, this front number is always the width of your property or the distance across the street. So that's the one that you're going to use in this type of a question. Remember I said at the end, don't forget to divide by two. You're putting a sidewalk on the street, but your neighbor across the other side benefits from that as well. Same with paving a street or sewers. So whenever you figure out the total assessment, you've got to divide that by two. Let's take one step further. 85 feet times $90 is a total cost of $76.50. $76.50 times 30% tells you what the city's share of this is going to be. But remember, there are two sides of the street, so if we divide that by two, then each of the homeowners will save $1,147.50 because the city is paying 30% of this cost. Let's move along a little further. If the homeowners are paying 70%, then the total cost is still $76.50, which is going to go here. But the homeowners are responsible for 70%. So we multiply the total cost for the homeowners is $53.55, but there are two sides to the street. So we divide that by two, and the cost for each homeowner is $2,677.50. Again, I've warned you about this a couple times. But as you look at a question like this, there are a few things you need to be careful of. Number one, when they're giving you a percentage, such as the city is going to pay 30%, make sure that you know which side you're being asked. It may ask you what is the city's share. It may ask you what is the homeowner's share. Just remember that when you're given the number, make sure that that number represents the actual number in the answer. Otherwise, you'd have to figure out the opposite side. So you may have to figure the city side. You may have to figure the homeowner's side. But whichever side you're asked to figure out, don't forget on special assessment questions, you're always going to divide these by two to arrive at your final answer.